right, so let's pop the hood and raise the vehicle. We're underneath the front bumper. We want to make sure we disconnect our fog lamp assemblies. Do the same to the other side. So if you look along the front here, we've got little push clips. We're going to remove those four. There we go. So now we're on the side of the bumper. You can see there's a Phillips head here and here, and there's a 10 millimeter hidden up in here. We're going to remove all three. Now we'll do the same on the other side of the vehicle. So now we'll just give this corner a little tug. Beautiful. Do the same the other side of the vehicle. So we're back up top. Lift up on the center. Comes right out. Remove your 10. And we'll just carefully remove this from the vehicle. Okay, so now that the hood's up, we're gonna open up the radiator cap. You wanna make sure that it's cool to the touch. It hasn't been running for a while. Could still be under pressure, so make sure you're wearing gloves and eye protection. Open it up away from your face. We'll set the cap aside and we can continue. So we're under the vehicle, we found our pet cock. Obviously we still have our safety glasses on and hand protection. So now that that finished draining, I'm just gonna close up this pet cock. So we're gonna remove this push clip right here. You can use some cutters or wherever you've got. You've got a 10 millimeter here and you have another push clip located out front. We'll grab that 10 millimeter first. Okay, plastic's gonna come down a little bit. So let's remove the radiator hose from the radiator. So let's squeeze that clamp. Try to get it down the hose here. Keep in mind that coolant is gonna come out of this, so make sure you have your bucket and of course some eye protection. So let's remove our engine cover to give ourselves a little bit more room. Okay, so we're just gonna grab this hose. Get it off the radiator there. Just bring it along, it just comes along to here. Get this off. Pull up on this. Carefully remove this. Hopefully. Remove this clamp. So now we're going to come right over to this electrical point right here. The red tab is a lock, so you slide that like I just did. And then right behind it, there's a little push tab. You push in on that. Now I'm going to press right in the center here. There should be a little tab. And then you should be able to slide this off. So we're going to remove these little tabs. There's one here. Get this one off of here as well. And there we are. Okay, so if you look along the side of the fan shroud here, you're going to see part of where it connects to the radiator. There's a little, like, tab. You push in on that, and then you should be able to lift up on the fan shroud. Do the same over here. And we can lift it up a little bit. Hopefully we can get a better view of what's going on. Yep. Pretty good there. So now we're going to remove these bolts right here. We're going to go right up along the top of here. The same along the other side. Now we can lift straight up on this and just set it out of the way. Make sure you take this off of here. We're going to reuse it. And the same on the other side. Just lift this up out of here a little bit. I want to pay attention to this, just make sure you don't get too far. I just want to get it up so we can get in there. You can see that red tab. Lift on the tab, push right in the center, and pull that out. Remove this. So along the passenger side, you have this bolt right here. It holds these AC lines into the bracket. Lift this up. So now when you look at the condenser, you can see where the radiator comes through it. These two tabs right here are squeezable. Squeeze them and separate the two. There's going to be four total points that are like that. There should be two more down here. Some over here. Do that one. And we should be able to lift this up a little bit. Okay. This side's a little bit harder to get to separate. But. So now we need to get this plastic slash rubber 
out of the way. Just kind of press that down. There we are, that bottom side, nice. Okay, so at this point, you wanna make sure that you have all the corners, that um, they have the little squeeze tabs that hold the condenser to the radiator. You wanna make sure all those are free and the condenser can move around without moving the radiator. This one obviously stuck a little bit down here. There we go. Okay, let's give it a try. This way. Ooh. A little bit more coolant in there. Just let that dump out. Okay. Cool. You want to make sure you take your um, rubber mounts off of the bottom of the radiator. Just do the same to the other side. Just going to put on a little bit of lubricant. Let's bring this right down in here. Remember it was at an angle. It's going to be hard getting it by the AC lines over on the passenger side. Right over here. So you just kind of have to try to weasel it down under there. And this should come down. Nice. So let's get this back in there. Go right over this, just like that. And the same thing on the bottom. We'll just do the same to the other side of the vehicle. So now it's time to finagle this so we can get our AC condenser mounted up onto the radiator. So whatever you gotta do to get it up on there, but of course be careful for any of these fins. You don't wanna crush them in or potentially stab a hole through them. Going right here, put my little hooky-do. Put that down in there for now. I'll come over here, I'm gonna do the same thing before I go too far. I'm press right here, squeeze those two together, give them a tug. Come under here, press that in, give that a tug along the top here. There it is, along the bottom. Beautiful. So now we're gonna put this rubber up on top of the radiator. You can see the groove. Line it up, press it down. Let's get our fan back in here. Just carefully lower it down. The wires are clear. It's gonna get by that connector over there. There we go. So on the radiator, you've got a couple little hooks. There's one right down here. You need to make sure that the fan slides down into that. And then of course this one right here and do the same on the other side of the vehicle. So it's time to get our wiring reconnected here. Once you clip it in, you need to make sure you slide this red tab down and lock it in. You have to make sure that it's pushed all the way in. It's hard to get your fingers in there, so I'm just gonna grab a small pry bar. Okay, it clicked. I'm gonna take that red tab and lock it in. Give her a nice tug, oh yeah. And come right over here to this side, do the same thing. Lock it in, slide that red tab, beautiful, give it a tug. My tabs on my cable here broke when I was trying to remove them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that I wire tie this in so it'll be nice and secure and safe. Let's get our overflow back in here. You can see your little tabs. They just go into these areas on the fan. Carefully line them up, slide it down right on here. Okay, so give your radiator a little shake. Make sure it doesn't move around down at the bottom at the anchor points. Assuming it's locked in, we're gonna grab this. We're gonna start installing this now. I'm gonna grab our little rubber there. Goes on top of the radiator, right like that. This is gonna go over that. I'm gonna set up the same thing on the other side here. We've got our handful of bolts here. If you want to use a little bit of penetrant, get those holes lubricated, that's up to you. Okay, so let's button these up. So we need to make sure we put in the 10 millimeter headed bolt that goes down here next to these AC lines. Let's get it lined up. Let's put the upper hose on the radiator.
try to put the clamp right back where you got it from. Let's get this engine cover back on here. So let's get this bumper cover up on here. Slide it up. Got one bolt right there. So we've got our bumper cover. We get this area right here. You need to slide in behind this, and then all this slides up on top of that. Pull it away. up tight in one second. Let's start this bolt in there. Put this on the back side there. Get our little screws. Just gonna try to get those holes lined up. Now we'll just do the same to the other side of the vehicle. Let's get the hose up on the radiator here. Make sure it's bottomed out all the way up against the radiator. There we go, give that a nice tug. That feels good. Let's plug in our fog light. Do the same to the other side of the vehicle. Make sure you check that petcock. Make sure it's nice and tight. So it's time to get this cover back up on here. Got a little screw, a bolt, Got a little push clip. It's gonna be another one that goes in the side right here. There it is. And we're just gonna tighten up that tent. Okay, so it's time to fill the cooling system. One of the best ways to do that is with something like this. What this does is it creates vacuum inside the cooling system and it's gonna help check for leaks. If you notice that your gauge goes down or it starts dropping pressure, you probably have a leak someplace. You might have a clamp loose or something like that. If it holds pressure like this is, you're doing all right. I like to let it sit for a couple minutes before I pump a little coolant in there. So we'll just give this a second and then we'll start filling. So the negative pressure, sucking the coolant from inside our bucket into the system. We want to make sure we don't run out of coolant in the bucket, of course, and suck up any air. Okay. All right, so now that we filled it using vacuum, we're just going to use this funnel, and we're going to let this be a little burping device, and it's going to help get all the air out of there. So we'll go just like that. Now you can grab your upper hose, give it a couple squeezes. You can see it working out some air, and that's going to continue happening. What we need to do now is run the vehicle, and wait for it to finish burping out all the air, and of course, wait for the cooling fans to turn on. So now we're just gonna run the vehicle. We're gonna watch our temp gauge, and make sure it doesn't go spiking all the way up into the hot range. We just want it to kind of sit towards the middle there. We're gonna wait for those cooling fans to turn on, and we're gonna wait for no more bubbles to be coming out of the funnel. Just make sure your heat's all the way on high, uh, temperature-wise, and of course, the blower motor's helpful. So once you see that you have no more air bubbles coming out of your funnel, I'm just gonna plug it up. Grab a little funnel out of there, bring it right over here. And if you look on the side of this container, you can see where the maximum line is. We want it to be just below that. So I'm just gonna put in this coolant because why waste it? And then I'm gonna grab some more and I'm gonna put it right up at that line. We'll close it up. Now we're gonna remove this over here. Radiator cap. 